Hey guys, welcome to another amazing episode of covering kayak news with Alex. So there's a brand new kayak that was unveiled, probably, I think it was yesterday by the time you see this video. And we're talking about the brand new Slayer from Native. Now Native was the first one to come up with a propel drive system, kind of like a bicycle motion, which I, I like those better, the PDL drive, the Native drive. I like them better because of the circular motion. That doesn't mean that I don't like the hobby ones. It's just that those are better on my, my legs and everything else. But the thing is this, grass is a killer. It's a killer for those rides. But native is something that should help with the grass. More on that in this video. Now, let's talk about what they're actually on build. The new Slayer Propel 12.5 Max is going to be shorter. The name says it about half a foot shorter than a previous brother, whatever. <laughs> and it's gonna be about an inch and a half wider. So it's gonna be 34 inches wide, 12 and a half by 34. That means it's gonna be able to hold at least 500 pounds. It's gonna be super stable with that native hold, which is super stable on the Titan, on the previous layer is a super stable hold so you shouldn't have any problem standing up on that boat and casting and probably even jumping but hopefully we're gonna get to test all that in this channel pretty soon the weight of the hole is gonna be around 90 pounds and if you add the drive that's about 15 pounds and the seat and everything else that comes with it another five pounds so you're probably gonna be looking at the 110 pound wrench they're still making this boat, so they, they're not giving final numbers in, standard, in terms of weight. What we do know is that it's going to have a low and high sitting position, which is super awesome. Kind of like you have on the Titan, that's ba that seat base that you could go lower or higher. They're talking about that it's going to be two inches higher, which is pretty good. Now, it's also going to have a brand new, not brand new, but the drive is being updated. The 701 series drive. It's going to have a more aggressive foot pedals, you know, like uh, kind of like the bike, professional bike ones. It's, the cranks are were straightened out and also it's going to have a built-in weed guard. Hopefully it works. We don't, we don't know that yet. We, we, we can't wait to test it out, but hopefully this one is going to work the way that they wanted it to work. We'll see about that. Now let's talk about pricing. It's going to be $2,599. And it also has kind of like a manufacturer built-in landing gear setup, which if you buy it with that, it's going to be 2774 But you don't have to get that. If you already have a Tog, if you already have another kayak cart, you don't have to get the one with the landing gears. So we're just looking at $25.99. That is $400 cheaper than the Outback. And this boat does have a lot of features that it's going to be able to fight with that Outback. For example... One of those features is that it's going to have a power pulse mounting setup in the front and on the back of the boat. It also has dual handles on the back, on the rear of the boat, that makes it easier to carry this boat. That's super awesome. Now, the rudder, they upgraded the rudder. Remember that Slayer were famous for not being able to turn properly? Although I really never had a problem with it. I, was, I learned how to use the boat and I was able to turn easily. But now that rudder is going to be about 25% bigger, it's going to be stiffer, and that thing just turns on circle. Like if you look at the native video, it turns on the spots. Like I'm really liking what is coming from all this Kaya manufacturing instead for the rod in terms of rudder control. The Outback is really good, the top water, the PDL, um, the Predator PDLs are really good at turning. I really like that, it's really good to be a kayak angler these days with all this stuff coming up from this manufacturer's crazy stuff. Now, the other Slayer, you were not able to get into the hole easily. It had a little circle hatch behind the seat that you were able to get in there, but <laughs> nothing like this one. This one is gonna have a liner in the front that you could just pull down and you're gonna be able to get inside of that hole. It also has a little divider, a molded in session where you could put your battery and you're gonna be able to get access to the transducer that is going to go under in a recess area in the hole so you don't have to worry about breaking that transducer. A lot of people are doing this like the old towns, they have that already so who copy who? Um, we don't know but it's there. I mean Hobie had it for a long time so 
Maybe Hobie was at the, I don't know. I don't know who was first. Doesn't matter. The point is that now that transducer is going to be protected under that cavi cavity. It also is going to come with a mo rotor molded cover that is going to be able to make those two hatches waterproof if you're going to go offshore. I would say water resistant because water gets on everything. The one thing is that I don't know if the hatch is included or if it's something that you have to buy separate. I think the way that they're building this boat, that hatch is probably included. More information on that later. I'm gonna update you guys either in the description or on the comments. So make sure to always read the descriptions of the videos you watch because there's additional information that always goes in there. So it's gonna have areas of course for your tackle boxes. It also comes electronic ready, it has like a little panel that you could go in there and install your electronics. It's gonna have a, they call it a waterproof hatch in the rear, it's like, it looks like four inches, but it again, again with water, I wouldn't trust anything to be 100% waterproof, water gets everywhere, for sure. It also borrowed from the Titan that it has dual rod holders, uh, like rod guard, like it goes around the boat, inside the boat, not inside, but like around it, and it's covered in the front. So that's really good as well. If you look at the rear, the tangwell, they kind of like made it a rectangular, which they added more space where you could put giant coolers and things like that. I really like that. I like how this company are going that way, making the rear of this boat wider because you're going to be able to store more things. And also the boat is going to be more stable as well. Although it may not be as fast as it would be if we had just the, like if we have less surfer area on the back touching the water but it still is great now if that the boat the bow of this boat looks crazy aggressive it looks like a t and this thing this thing looks like oh i'm here i'm here to fight and i'm here to offer you everything that my predecessors didn't offer you and that's pretty cool it's pretty awesome that the idea of being able to mount a bow trolling motor with some kind of like wireless control that is super awesome and in the back you could put your standard torquito or whatever you have this thing could be a mean fishing machine they want to they're advertising it as being ready for offshore and salt, wa salt water inshore offshore and fresh water as well so this thing is gonna be super crazy now if you want to see more videos like this let me know comment down below let me know if you want me to keep covering the news and if you it's been a few months now I'll probably have videos of hands on with this boat so check that out there's gonna be a playlist around here thank you for watching I'll see you in the next one